Burnware Professional. Hi there, folks. This is Joseph. On this podcast, I'm going to describe how to use Burnware to do an audio CD or an MP3 CD. Now, this these two functions can be used in Burnaware Free. And before I start this little uh, tutorial on how to do an audio on how to do an audio CD or MP3 CD, I must point out that there's Burnaware Free, Burnaware Premium, and Burnaware Professional. I myself am using the Burnaware Professional, but these two functions are available in Burnaware Free as well. So. The menus are basically the same in Burnaware Free, except there's a few tools that Burnaware Free does not have, but the Premium Professional do. But the tools that we'll be concerning ourselves in this episode are Audio CD and MP3 CD. Now, the steps to make an Audio CD with Burnaware are as follows. When you launch the Burnaware program, I press Alt-F as in Foxtrot to bring up the main menu, like so. Data disk D. Now, the first thing that comes up is data disk D. Now, there's different shortcut letters. Like A is audio CD and M is MP3 CD. Now, if you want to do an audio CD and you want to do the letter shortcut, you press letter A as in alpha and you get this. A virtual recorder dialog. Stop button mode plus S. Oops. <laughs> All right. Virtual recorder. Let's see. Audio CD. Burn the audio CD. Burn the professional. Combo box F. HPC DVD WSN 200 ATP collapsed. Now because I had now because that window uh, now because the the uh, tool opened and the main window closed, um, I had to Alt Tab into the audio CD window. Now, when now that you now that I'm in the audio CD window, you can actually tab across, and you hear this. Combo box 52x collapsed. <clears throat> Here's where you can specify your writing speed with a list box with the arrow keys. For example, if I press down arrow here, I get 32x, 32x, and so on. 52x. 52x is the default writing speed of my CD DVD burner. When I press tab again, I hear this. Combo box CD 80 min collapsed. You can specify your your duration of your CD if it's going to be 80 min, which is the max, or lower. List list that's where you'd probably see any files and here if you have a few audio tracks you want to burn and you have them copied to clipboard you can do do a control v as in victor to paste the tracks in and it will add them automatically edit multi-line blank shut down pc when done box not checked now there's an edit multi-line blank but it doesn't actually say what the edit box is for i'm not sure why edit multi-line shut down pc when done box not shut checked. down the pc when done that's an option that you could check or not check depending on how you want to do. Advanced button. There's an advanced button. And if you were to go into that, Cancel button. you would advanced see button. this. Space, press, pain. That would open up and it would say pain. And you press tab. Combo box F. HPC DVD WSN 200 ATP collapsed. Combo box 52X collapsed. Combo box CD 80 min collapsed. List. Now, if you want to see the options available, you press the F10 key and you get this. Options. Use lowest right speed checkbox not checked. Use lowest write speed. You can change that with the space bar. And you hit tab and you get write CD text checkbox checked. Write CD text. Use Unicode characters and CD text checkbox not checked. That's an option you can check or not check depending on what your situation calls for. Eject disk after burn process is complete checkbox checked. I have mine checked to eject disk after burn. Buffer under run protection, burn proof, just link, etc. Checkbox checked. I have that one checked by default, but you can, you know. Modify that according to your own preferences. Use optimum power calibration. OPC checkbox checked. Use optimum power calibration, like you heard. That's another checkbox you can adjust at your own. Combo box disk at once collapsed. Disk at once. You can change that on your own preferences if you wish. Edit selected zero. Edit selected one. OK button. Now there's an OK button. Since I haven't made any changes, I just cancel go button. To cancel. Spain list. And now, if I wanted to, actually. Once you have your preferences set and your files added, you can do a control B as in Bravo to start a burn process and that will start the audio burning process to burn your audio CD. Since you when you're in the audio CD tool, if you want to have your CD drawer open automatically, let's see if this still works here. Yes. Same, same. List. Control E will eject your CD drawer for you. 
If there's no disk in the drawer and you press Control E as an echo, the CD drive will automatically eject for you so you can open up, you can put a CD in there. Audio. Now, to burn an MP3 CD, I'm going to close this out. Virtual recorder dialog. NVDA room server 3. Desktop icon for folder view. And I'm going to launch my Burnaware program. Team Burnaware, again. Profession. Burnaware Professional. Now, this time, the, to burn an MP3 CD, the steps are very similar, except a different tool is going to be used. This time, you're going to do Alt F as in file. Data disk key. And M as an MP3 disk. F virtual MP FRA MP3 disk. Burnaware Professional. Combo box F. HPC DVD WSN 200 DB collapsed. Here is where it specifies what your DVD drive letter is. If you hit tab, combo box 52x collapsed. You can specify your drive speed. Edit selected my MP3. Here where it says my MP3, you can actually type in the name of the CD of your choice, and and use my, you know something different than my MP3. Combo box backslash collapsed. Um, let's see. List. That is where you can paste where right there was this list where you actually can paste in your files that you have copied to clipboard. Combo box CD 650 megabytes collapsed. Here's where you specify the 650 megabytes, which is the maximum. CD 700 megabytes. Oh, CD 700 meg, it goes higher. CD 800 megabytes. CD 800 megs, whoa. DVD 4.7 gigabytes. DVD 4.7 gigs. DVD DL 8.5 gigabytes. Ah, dual layer 8.5 gigs. Hmm. I guess if you have a dual layer DVD, you can put up to 8.5 gigs on that. Wow. Blu-ray 25 gigabytes. And Blu-ray is an option to use if you have such a disc. You can use 25 megs. Blu-ray DL 50 gigabytes. Blu-ray DL? Hmm, interesting. Blu-ray XL 100 gigabytes. My, 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 my. All these formats. Mm -mm -mm. CD 650 megabytes. CD 700 megabytes. But CD 700 megs, that's the maximum for a CD. Edit multi-line. Land. Shut down PC when done box not check. Advanced button. And some of the, most Cancel of these things are similar to the other things. Combo box F. HPC DVD double. <coughs> Control B is the same to burn, to start the burning after you got your files into the list. Control E will eject your CD drive if there's no disk in there for you. So, yeah. And then when you're done, you can just do an, uh, you can either do an Alt F4 or you can, uh, yeah, Alt F4 will Virtual recorder this. dialog. Server 3 NVDA remote desktop virtual, re virtual record. Well, folks, if you have any questions about this, um, if you want to email Burnaware directly, if you have any questions about their program, you can email support at burnaware.com. That's S-U-P-P-O-R-T at burnaware, B-U-R-N-A-W-A-R-E.com. Or if you wish to leave me feedback on the podcast on how I did, you can uh, you know, leave me an anchor voice message, or you can send me an email to josephweekland at att.net. So, yeah. So anyway, or you can follow me on Twitter. So anyway, thanks for listening to this, and I hope you found this educational. Have a good day. Bye.